everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking five easy ways to elevate your personal style. These are five easy tricks, tips, rules, whatever you want to call them to help you get out of the funk you may be feeling. This is if you are kind of feeling dull, maybe you're just not inspired to get dressed, you really don't know what to wear. These five easy steps, you can write them down on a piece of paper, pop them up on a cork board, put them onto your closet door, Whatever you want to do will help you get out of that funk, so let's get right into them. Tip number one is to find your uniform. That is very loosely termed uniform. I think, personally, it is to find your comfort zone, wherever you sort of gravitate to, the pieces that you wear on a daily basis, whether or not they're for work or just, you know, daily life. These are the pieces that you gravitate to in order to get dressed every day. Personally for me, it is jeans and a t-shirt. That is my uniform or my comfort zone. That is just what I gravitate to all of the time. I'm always putting out a pair of jeans and some sort of t-shirt or rock tee of some sort. And then building on top of that, that is just my go-to. That's where I know I feel the best and I'm not gonna be fidgeting or feeling uncomfortable throughout the day. I would say I have more of an eclectic style overall, but I definitely follow some sort of inner formula. In order to find your personal style, it takes a little bit of work sometimes. I suggest finding somebody that you want to emulate style-wise, whether it's a friend or, you know, a celebrity, a poet, a writer, a politician, whatever it is that you want to look like. Look at their style, cut out some pictures, you know, internet-wise, copy and paste. Uh, make a little splashboard and look at their style and sort of dissect it and see what it is that they wear all the time that you really like. Step two from there is to go to your own wardrobe, pick out all of the pieces that sort of, you know, distinctly emulate their style and what you're trying to get out of that. Grab them out of your wardrobe, place them down on your bed or on an extra rack if you have something on the side and look at those and build outfits based on those items together you know, and then you can kind of see the holes as to like what it is that you really like from their style and what you want to put into the pieces that you kind of have existing already. Finding your uniform does not mean that you have to go and purchase an entirely new wardrobe. No one really has the budget for that, you know, maybe 1% of the people have a budget to do that, so that's not what I'm saying at all. Definitely look at what you have already. You have the resources for sure. You clearly have been buying things for years. You know, subconsciously you are trying to find your style and what you want to wear, so you definitely have things in your closet. You just need to figure out how to put them together. Another way to just find your personal style based on what you already have is just to go through your own wardrobe and pick out all of the things that you wear all of the time. There are ways to sort of figure out your style and then to build on top of what you already own. Say you've put your wardrobe down and you notice that all you wear are white button-ups and that's just your classic go-to, maybe a white button-up and a blazer. From there, I suggest going and purchasing more button-ups, but in different prints and colors and textures just to sort of add a little bit more style, but you're still sticking to your uniform. It's all about working with what you already own and then just building on top of that. A really easy way to find a personal style or a look that you might be known for is to find a color palette. There are a bunch of sort of fashion people, editors, bloggers, Instagrammers, whatnot, that I can think of just because of their personal style is based on a color. Random Acts of Pastel, she wears a lot of pastels. Uh, Blair EDB, she wears a lot of really bold and intense colors, really bold prints, couldn't say that word, prints. Um, and textures and then there's Lauren Caruso who is an editor she just has like the most beautiful neutral style she really doesn't mess around with color and if she does it's very subdued and it really works into her neutral palette so finding your color palette will make your life a lot easier personally I don't have what I would call a color palette I definitely just kind of play with a bunch of colors but I know my colors and what colors work for my skin tone. That's another step in this color, find your color kind of area, is to figure out what colors work for your skin because not all the colors are going to do that. 
The easiest way that you can figure it out is either going online and finding a color wheel and just, you know, looking up your skin tone and what works. Or if you're shopping, just hold a garment up to your skin and instantly in that awful fluorescent lighting in stores, you'll figure out really quickly whether or not a color looks good on you. Overall, once you've figured out your color palette, generally I would say pick about five colors and stick with that, nothing more than that. If you're trying to build a really solid kind of like capsule wardrobe or just a solid wardrobe, shopping will be so much easier for you. Visual merchandisers are breaking down their product into color stories. So once you've figured out your color, it's so much easier to go into a store and just instantly hit up that section. You'll be able to walk into a store, go right to the, you know, the neutral tones or the basics or the pinks, if that's the color that you want to add into your wardrobe. You will be able to shop so much easier once you have figured out the colors that work for you. Number three is to play with textures and prints. What I mean by textures is different fabrics. So things like leather, velvet, lace, linen, silk. Building outfits with all of those elements is where your style is really going to peak. For example, in this outfit, I like to wear a lacy top with a leather pant. It's just like sexy and romantic. All of the elements together really creates just a dynamic sort of outfit. Another example of an outfit is that I'm wearing a silk robe with a cotton hoodie, a pair of denim, a little white pop shoe that kind of like pulls that silk kimono in. It's so many elements of texture and print mixed together and it really creates your own personal style. Number four is to incorporate interesting accessories. This is probably my favorite category to be honest. I love a good accessory. I think that it can just amp up any outfit so quickly and effortless and you like don't have to work that hard for it. I dress pretty basic most of the time, jeans and a tee, but it can get, you know, a little boring sometimes and you just want to like amp it up. And the quickest way that I do that is with shoes or a bag or hat or hair accessory. I love a good snakeskin shoe. I have these in mules. I have them in a pair of booties. I think that they can just like totally change an outfit so fast. If you're wearing jeans and a tee, you could wear really girly flats and like a little silk kind of like kimono or you could wear these and a blazer and look a little rocker style. It's so easy to like completely change your look with an accessory. I also love to just add pops of color this way, like this red vintage coach bag, this little vintage beaded bag. Having this with like jeans and a black tee and you're like, you know, you're feeling a little dull, you add a giant red bag and you've completely changed the look. A couple more subtle ways to get into the like accessory game is to add hair accessories. Love a good headband. This one's like a really nice rich plum. It has this great texture on it such an easy add-on and I've completely changed the look that I have right now. Or you've seen tons of like barrettes and hair clips. Just by adding a small accessory you can completely change the entire look. Right now it's winter and our outfits can just feel really really dull like a black jacket, a black scarf, you know black boots, a pair of denim and you're like well, I look like everyone else. That's where I love to incorporate really fun accessories like hats and scarves with lots of texture and prints. This is a fur leopard hat that I love wearing. I think it's super like Russian doll-esque, very fun. Accessories are the cheaper, sort of easiest way to start elevating your personal style. Tip five is to mix and match and layer your jewelry. Jewelry is of course an accessory and could fall under accessories, but I personally think it deserves its entire own category. To me, wearing jewelry is like brushing my teeth or brushing my hair or like putting on mascara putting on deodorant, it's just like a part of me. If I don't do it, I clearly know that I'm having an off day, my brain's not working. I think a lot of women feel that way about jewelry. It's like your wedding band or the rings that you wear or whatever, it just kind of becomes a part of your skin and who you are. Personally, I think layering your jewelry is the easiest 
smallest sort of stylistic thing you can do to any outfit or your day-to-day -day looks. Layering your necklaces is like I think it's just so cool. I don't know why people never did it before. It's definitely like way more of a trend now than it ever was. I also really, really love layering rings. I think it's so, so interesting. Instead of just having like one ring per hand, I stack three here, stack two here. This is just like a, a roundabout, so it's a snake. Yeah, but I just think it makes for like interesting vibes. It's like way less simple and boring. It just kind of amps up your outfit a little bit. Um, and it's all entirely personal. Jewelry is really, really personal to people. Um, again, and I think I mentioned before that I like to mix and match metals. I'm not opposed to it. I think it's a cool look. I would say first and foremost, if you are looking to elevate your style tomorrow, throw two necklaces on instead of one get started and it will it will change how you feel you'll start to feel a little bit more confident all right those are my top five tips rules whatever you want to call them they will help you if you are feeling down you're feeling blah you're feeling rough about your looks you're uninspired you don't know what to wear anymore you wear the same thing every day whatever the case may be take one of these tips run with it. Just little reminders to help you put your outfits together. Like I said in the beginning, write them all down nicely. You know, have a little like daily mantra of style tips to help you build outfits and feel slightly more confident or put together or whatever it is that you're trying to find. Let me know if you thought this video was helpful in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and remember to like and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!